Now call Neil Bibby with a tight six minutes. Uh, thank you, President Officer. Uh, a number of very important issues have been raised in uh, this debate today, and I am sure it will help the Education and Culture Committee uh, members with their findings for the inquiry into educational attainment levels for looked after children. I think it has been an excellent debate, and uh, valuable points have been made by every single member in the debate. And apologies if I am not able to pick up on all of them. Uh, what has been clear from all of the evidence and backed up today is there are a significant number of issues facing um, our most vulnerable children and young people. Uh, as, as members have, have stated, poor educational attainment is not uh, the only problem affecting young people later in life, and there has to be an important uh, emphasis put on outcomes, and a number of members made that point. Uh, as members have said, um, the young people um, are, are less likely to have employment opportunities, as Anne McTaggart said, more likely to have mental health issues, as uh, Liam MacArthur said, uh, also more likely to have sexual health issues, uh, more likely to be homeless are more likely to, be, uh, to go to prison. I think there were some important points and facts raised by uh, both John McIlpine and Christine Graham on that, and it is a stark reminder uh, of the, uh, the issue and that we need to do more on that. Uh, we know this is an issue that is becoming even more severe um, because the number of looked-after children has increased in every year since 2001. Uh, due to what ADSW described as an epidemic rise in the number of children living with uh, drug and alcohol misuse, uh, misusing parents. Uh, what is clear is that uh, there is a complexity of issues facing individual looked after children, and there needs to be a personalised uh, response. These can't all possibly be fitted into a two and a half uh, hour debate, and that is why I welcome again this inquiry uh, by the Education and Culture Committee. In terms of early years, many uh, Members have talked about that, and the Minister talked about the Government's announcement of a change fund to support early years work, uh, which can make a big difference to vulnerable children. And I can't think of anything, any better use of preventative spend than to help those children and their families at the earliest possible stage, and hopefully prevent them entering the care system. The issue of parenting was mentioned by uh, Hansel and Malik and others, and I also know it was raised by children in Scotland in their evidence who stated that children who have poor experience of parenting in their younger years are likely to repeat the same mistakes um, later in life. Um, the Positive Parenting Programme, Triple P, is an international award-winning uh, parenting education programme which has listened to and worked with thousands of parents and professionals across the world. It works for many different families in many different circumstances with many different problems, whether you are the parent of a tantrum-throwing toddler or a truanting teacher, Triple P, gives some useful ideas to help meet the challenges of raising children. The programme has been rolled out by Glasgow City Council Education Services to all parents of primary one and nursery children. Sessions are run uh, regularly in libraries throughout Glasgow, providing parents with necessary information, tips and skills to practice with their own children. Sharing best practice and working together um, was a theme that was running throughout. I know uh, Mary Scanlon made some important points about the need for a consistency of approach across um, Scotland. Uh, Joe McAlpine made an interesting point about the, the plethora of, of, of policy initiatives and the, uh, and, and, and the, the various sort of plans. Um, I think this is an issue, an important issue that doesn't just affect staff, but can also affect children themselves who are expected to go to. Uh, meeting after meeting, and can sometimes feel overburdened and under pressure at the amount of meetings uh, that they, they need to go. And, and, and if improvements can be made there, we, we should certainly um, consider them. Um, and Alison Johnson made the, the important point about raising um, awareness about the need for uh, corporate parenting. The convener asked for uh, good examples from around the country, and I think we've heard a number of them, um, given Stuart Aberdeen and a few others. Um, can I give a, a, a good local example as well that um, the, the convener will probably be aware of, um, is the, the, that we can learn a great deal from the efforts being made by dedicated uh, staff and charities across Scotland, including um, in my own west of Scotland region uh, with the Kibble Education and Care Centre in, in Paisley, uh, which has been looking after children from across Scotland for nearly 150 years. We know the statistics show the number of children looked after away from home achieving five uh, or more standard grades is 4.7 per cent. The great work that Kibble is doing has resulted in children there attaining a rate of around 10 per cent. I know from speaking to Kibble that they are not in any way complacent about that and want to um, improve on that rate further, which is very encouraging indeed. Uh, with sharing best practice in mind, I welcome uh, the expertise of organisations <coughs> such as Kibble 
um, is tapped into by local authorities so it can benefit um, uh, looked after children at all of our mainstream schools. And I hope that's something um, the convener and the minister uh, can reflect on. Uh, a lot of members, Anne McTaggart, um, Hansler, Malik, Stuart, Maxwell, Lee MacArthur mentioned the work that Glasgow City Council are doing to help looked after children. Uh, with around 10 per cent of Scotland's population, 20 per cent of Scotland's looked after children, Glasgow has a great deal of experience in helping improve the life chances of looked after children. And Anne McTaggart pointed out the, the work of the class uh, programme. Um, people um, also mentioned the need for supporting families, and we can learn a lot from uh, the Home Start initiative, um, which has been run by the, the voluntary uh, sector. Um, issues were also raised about um, intendance and exclusions, and I don't think this is an either-or issue, and I think both have an important um, role to play in improving attainment. Um, finally, President Officer, um, I return to my opening contribution. Uh, we have a duty to those children whom we determine to have to be looked after by the authorities. The responsibility for the future well-being and achievement of those children falls on us as citizens and as corporate parents. We must not fail them any longer. Thank you.